This is the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. And it says, it reads, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Alright, right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakurash. Alright, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give all uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lakakim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. You know, uh, Adawan Ratiza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, in my, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash, is going to be basically on being, be not conformed to this world, all right? All right, be not with the form right, of Babylon the Great, all right, which is America, all right? All right and and the, the ways of Esau, Edom, all right, which is the so-called white man because the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. All right, this world is full of wickedness. All right, this is the book of Job chapter 9, verse 24. And it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, so the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, and we know, all right, according to the scriptures, all right, the wicked is Esau Edom. All right, he's the border of wickedness. All right, and the Lord said what? He said of the bases of men. All right, this book of Daniel chapter four in verse 17, it says, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to, so, and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the bases of men. Who are the bases of men? All right, the basis of men is Esau, man. All right, because you got three classifications of men. According to the scripture, you got the sons of, of God, which are us, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations. That lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? All right, we are the true Hebrew Israelite. We are the uh, sons of God. Then you have the sons of men, all right, which are these other nations, all right? And then you have the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, all right? And the earth is given into their hands and what he covered the faces of the judges thereof because he put himself up as a, as a lord i right, he he lied and said he's the children of israel all right and we're there to, they're the wicked that the bible speaks of all right so let's go back to uh romans romans chapter 12. it says obviously romans chapter 12 verse 1 it's like it turn that air off it says, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we got to make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. That's why we go out on the highways and bowies. That's what we teach. All right. All right. That's why. All right. All right. We, we, we uh, do this ministry, man. All right. It says that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So we got to be holy. Holy meaning separate. All right. Verse two, it says, and be not conformed to this world. You look at this word conform in the, in the Greek. All right. To conform oneself, i.e. one's mind and characters, another pattern. All right. I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, Google definition. Comply with. All right. Abide by, obey, observe, follow, to keep. All right. So we're not supposed to follow. All right. All right. Be not with, you know. All right. Join unto this place, man. All right. It says be not conform to this world. Like, right? why? Because we just read the earth is given to the head of the wicked. 
the basis of men is ruling. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right, so you got to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. What? Coming back to the scriptures. All right, let's get um, this book of Psalm 119 and verse 9. It says, uh, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to the word, man? How can how so that's how you cleanse your way by taking heed to the word to the word, man. All right. So we say you are cleanse. The word. This is the book of um Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. All right, so we gotta be cleansed, you know, by this word. The scripture say, uh, the the this word is like living waters. All right, let's get that. There's belly living waters. John, I believe, uh, seven. Yeah, John chapter seven, verse thirty-eight. It says, "He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of sorry, shall flow rivers of living water." Man. All right, meaning it's truth. All right, you got clean word. This is John fifteen and three. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, man. All right, so this word is gonna cleanse us. All right, from the from the from the ways of Babylon, man. All right, from the ways of this wicked society. This back at Romans chapter twelve verse two it says, and be not conformed to this world. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you gotta wash, all right, the the filth that we learned in Babylon, all right, and come to the, come to the scriptures, man. All right, the living waters. It says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High, man. All right. This is the book of uh, James. It's a quick lesson, Lord, when it's edifying to the elect. It's James 4 and 4. It says, ye are adulterers. In a, James 4 and 4 says, ye are adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with the Most High. Whosoever, therefore, would be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. Yahweh Bashamah So if you're a friend of the world, you join into the world, you're an enemy of the Lord. Because right, the Lord said he's angry with the wicked every day. And we got to take these scriptures right, into, we got to apply the scriptures and know the, and fear the Lord and know the judgments that's about to happen. The Lord's about to send nuclear missiles to this place, man. The scripture said the earth going real to and fro like a drunkard, man. It's time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Jacob's trouble is coming up, you know. The the, the financial shutdown that CHIP is coming. All right. That's why she's saying that knowing the time now is a high time to awake out of sleep. All right, there's a time and there's a season for everything. This is time to what? To seek our power, y'all. I was going to bring out, um, was it Psalm 7? Bear with me. In Psalm chapter 7, verse 11, it says, The Most High judges the righteous, and the Most High, Yahweh Shemashah, is angry with the wicked every day. So the Lord is angry every day. All right. All right, the Lord is angry every day. So we're not supposed to be all right, a friend with the world, all right? The earth will reel to and fro like a drunkard. If you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of uh, you're an enemy to Yahweh Bashi Shah. First John 2 and 15. It says, do not love the world. It says, uh, first John 2 and 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right. So if you love it, you love the world, the love of the of Yahweh Bashima Shad is not in, in you, man. All right. This place is satanic, demonic. You got transformers everywhere. You got bugged out demons. All right. The women are completely out of order. The men are out of order. This is a place, this is Babylon the Great. Confusion. All right. And the and there's a great judgment about to come to this place, man. All right. So we're not supposed to be lovers of the world. Uh, not giving over to pleasures, no walking after the flesh. Because if you walk after the flesh, all right, as it says, was it Romans? Bear with me. Bear with me. 
flesh. You can't please the Lord. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 and verse... Romans chapter 8 and verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. So if you after the flesh, you're going to if you after the flesh, you go, your mind is going to be on shit of the flesh. <laughs> All right. You're going to be wanting to party, you're going to be wanting to drink, have sex, like overly, you know. Are you gonna be you wanna be in a murphy spirit? All right. And Trip said it's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Yeah, it's a balance, of course. You know, you step out. Once in a while, but that that couldn't consume you, all right? Because that by you doing those things constantly, all right, you're you're not connected to your how about your mouth It Says for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit, man. You know, and, and what Apostle Paul he said the things that I would do I do not. You know, roughly paraphrasing. That's why we got to stay in prayer, all right, and constantly. Get, get rid of that old man, all right? Verse six, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, man. So so you carnally minded, all right, that's death, all right? Because you're sowing to the flesh. All right? you're, not, you're, not, you're not tapping into the sources, which is your how about your shot. Verse seven says, because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high and is not subject to the law of the most high, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high, man. All right. So you, if you carnally mind it, you against the Lord, man. Basically what you're going to go after your own lust. You're going to basically going to be like a beast. You're going to be like these fucking Babylonians out here, man. All right. Which have no rule. They don't have no rule, no self-control, no temperance. All right. And we have to what? come to the lord we can't be we can't walk the way these people walk they're they out of their damn mind man this is first john back at first john 2 and 15 all right first john chapter 2 verse 16 for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh all right the lust of the flesh going after the flesh man and the lust of the eyes all right you want more constantly want more all right and the pride of life these people are prideful in their fucking vanity, materialistic substance that's going to get burnt, all right? <laughs> that they about to lose, all right? Once all hell break loose, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. So the, so the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of Yahweh Bashim Ashad. It's of the world, man. Verse 17, but the, it's like in the world, fade, in the world passes the way, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever, man. All right? So we have to continue doing the will of the Lord, that we may be that, that chosen vessel, all right, to be delivered, man. Galatians 6 and 7 says, Be not deceived, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall shall of the spirit reap life everlasting so what there's a there's a there's a right way and the wrong way right there's a the lord he's he's not the author of confusion man if you sow into the flesh you're gonna reap corruption if you sow if you sow into the spirit are you gonna reap life everlasting that's what we want all right we want to be counted worthy all right to stand in that day man having done all we all we could do all right all right, having done all we can do to serve our power, y'all, by Shema Shai. You know, so Lord, what in this lesson, all right, was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. And I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushed his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep enduring. Shalom.